that's what it is, you know. Hallelujah. Thank you. Anything about the word. If it's the word, it's amen. Amen. No matter what. If it's the word, it's amen, whether it hurts you or not. Amen. But that's one thing I love about the word. Thank you, Lord. He's showing you that he loves you. I mean, he'll knock you down, but then he'll give himself to pick me up. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I want to praise you and I want to say, Jesus Christ. God, Hallelujah. Jesus, bless you, thank Lord. you. I thank God for my wife. Yeah. Again, I got, Lord bless me with her. I, I thank God for my wife. I'm going to get the big head behind that. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but we had a phone like that. That's my wife. Yeah. But I, I thank God for his mercy. Yes, Jesus. People, I'm telling you. Yes. This word is going down like it was before. And people are dying all around. I want to be saved. And the Lord say a few. Yes. I want to be among that few. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
and praise the Lord for being so good to me. How the Lord enabled me to be into the house of prayer this morning. Thank you, praise the Lord, for God is good, even in the midst of time that you don't see goodness, but I just want to praise the Lord. I thank you, praise the Lord, for being a good God, a keeper, a healer for my body, a counselor, everything I need not to say is in Jesus this morning. I thank you, praise the Lord. I want to continue to trust the Lord in all of my needs and all of my ways. I want to continue to cry out to the Lord. I just thank and praise him for his goodness and his mercy. How the Lord blessed me from time after time. Even like the song that the little children would teach them before I knew myself. You know, the Lord been good before I knew who I was. He was there. He was good. And I thank and praise the Lord. Even having a saved mom, mom. Feel it with the Holy Ghost that, you know, like the sheet on the mountain drive that made sure we came down here to the house of the Lord. And I just thank you, praise the Lord for that. My soul and my heart is so full of joy and mind to keep on up this holy highway. I thank you, praise the Lord, for tests and trials because the Lord knows my desire. I want to live for the Lord all the days of my life because the Lord knows what the end is going to be. But I want to continue yes. up this holy highway. I thank you, praise the Lord for our pastor. Who's my husband? Not realized I was to be married to a man of God, but my heart and my most respect is to the man of God. Because even when I was younger, you know, didn't understand a lot of things. You know, I traveled up and down the road with Mother Hunt and Bishop Reed, and I say, praise the Lord for having in mind when I heard the word of God, how we begin to get an understanding from different men of God. You know, about you know, this is not a playground. We don't just lie. Then you're gonna say you repent and turn around and do the same thing again. I thank you, praise the Lord, for saying my heart, my desire is to continue up this way because you know, I may and I do understand that you may not get this chance all the time. And I thank you, praise the Lord, for his goodness and his mercy. I'm gonna continue being a good life, that I will continue drawing others, either others may see that I am striving to be in that holy number. And I thank you, praise the Lord, for all my brothers and sisters. In the house of prayer this morning, thank you, praise the Lord for all my natural brothers and sisters. I just thank you, praise the Lord for my brother, Bishop Pye, being with us on the end of his life. We walked around in the church when he was younger, but I thank you, praise the Lord, that the Lord continues to help him on the shoulder highway. I thank you, praise the Lord for our dad, because we gave the love, praise the Lord, and just thank you, praise the Lord for that. Regardless of whatever is going on, God is still, the, this is still the only one and two plan of salvation. I want the Lord to help me that, that I continue to be in life. Thank God for all my nine children. Thank you, praise the Lord, for my son in laws and one daughter in law. Thank you, praise the Lord, for our 14 grandchildren. Because all we have comes from the Lord. And thank you, praise the Lord, for what He done done, what He done gave us, what He's still able to do. And I just want to say, I thank you, praise the Lord, for my son Joshua working out of town and how. You know, this is the first weekend he didn't come home. I think he was doing everything on his own. And I'm looking, I say, Lord, thank you for him that God continued to be first in his life. He was traveling 200 miles to be with us on the weekend. And 200 miles going back, I said, that's 400 miles a weekend. He done been traveling, like I say, 1,600 miles on the last two months or more, maybe more than that. But I think, praise the Lord, he told me yesterday, Mama won't be able to make it. But pray that, Lord, let this. First is I continue to be in the Lord because I want all of my children to be saved, but I know my life and their life is in the hand of the Lord. Thank you, yes. praise the Lord. There's no more babies that hell of than I have. Thank you, praise the Lord. We still love them and trust in the Lord that they'll continue this holy highway too. Saints, pray for me while I do pray for you. Lord, someone Lord, save someone tonight. If you save someone, they shall be saved. Lord, save. Someone there. 
Myself probably wouldn't have took it too well, but I'm glad the Lord brought you through. Yes. Because it kind of runs through the family on that particular note. But I'm just grateful. So grateful. Amen. Really, really grateful that the Lord Thank delivered you. Lord. Yes, Lord. Lost many. And that stage of cancer. But it just God has you. I'm grateful, man. I'm just really grateful. Yes. For your wife, we ain't no with you. Mm -hmm. Just proud of you. Went yes. through it alone. But God took you through yes. it. But you know, God. I'm just glad you know, to see you still here with us. Thank God. Yes. Just want you to know. Love you. Yes. I really love you. Y'all continue to pray for him. Yes. Yes. And pray for his wife and pray for his yes. children. Because a lot of times we wouldn't know certain things if it wasn't even you know, left on record how God has done for the church in Jesus Christ's name. Yeah. But we thank God for yet still being God. Yeah, you. You know, God is still working amongst the church. Yes, you know, same, you know, people are still coming in to be saved. Mm -hmm. God is still working, as they say, wonder. Mm -hmm. And all we got to do is yet continue to believe in Him, continue to walk. In this path of righteousness in Jesus Christ, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I said, a lot of times there's stumbling blocks, there's there's curves, there's other avenues, but you know, pray one for another that we'll stay on the straight path of righteousness in Jesus Christ, man. Mm -hmm. Because our whole purpose of life is to be saved. You know, want to be able to reach that city. Yeah. You know, go into that city yeah. you know, that the Lord has prepared for all of us that love him. Mm -hmm. You know, we can speak love. You can talk about love all day long. But one thing about God, God knows our heart. I say God knows our heart. 
He knows our heart better than we know our own selves in Jesus Christ. If you say something that we, I won't do this, I won't do that. But you'll find out, you'll find yourself doing some of the same things you say you wouldn't do. Because God knows us, saints. Yes, he does. That's why we have to learn to say, for the Lord's will, I'll do this, or I'll do that. The scripture teaches us that. You know, but we have to, as the Bible says, walk by faith. Because God, you know, increases our faith as we go on, on this journey. Someone said that this is a journey, right? Amen. And we are pilgrims just passing through. Yeah. That's why as we see some of our loved ones, and it's going to be some of us one day. Yes. Some of us are going to be laid out Amen. on our way home. That's right. But, you know, as the song we sung say, may the work I've done speak for me. May the life I live speak for me. Yeah, because truly that's what we're going to get judged by, the things that we do in this life. So let us, you know, pray one for another, pray wholeheartedly that, you know, we'll strive to be what the Lord has for us to be in the last part. Oh, oh, oh.
Savior Jesus Christ. Thank God for allowing us another chance and an opportunity to be back to the place of worship, to worship the Lord in spirit and the truth. We thank God for just blessing us to be able to be a present again before the Lord and before you. We thank God for each and every one. We pray that God will ever continue to bless and to keep according to his eternal will. We thank God for all of you. Those of you that are here, the absent ones, and we just thank God for all the people of God everywhere. Those that are lifting and praising the Lord and having a desire to do as the Lord has commanded us to do in the word. We just thank God for that. Amen. Just thank God for those that are seeking the Lord, that God will, they will continue to seek the Lord and God will bless them with the Holy Ghost yeah. as the word of God has described. Knowing that he said the promise unto you and your children. Yeah. So we thank God for that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing that uh, can't be obtained, but it most certainly can in the name of Jesus Christ. So we thank God for that. We pray that God will bless and keep according to his will. Amen. So we thank God. We're going to get started today in the word of God. Knowing the word of God is right. Yes. Always right. Always will be right. Amen. And we just have to come up to what it says Amen. and strive to do as the word of the Lord save you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Then we get to 1 Corinthians 15th chapter verse 35. We're going to get to the ninth chapter of Ecclesiastes. We're going to get started in the book. I know it's something good in them. Amen. You know, it's like sometimes people go to certain restaurants, they say, I, I know this is some good food there. Mm -hmm. You know, it don't matter what it is. Is that right? Amen. If you like black eyed peas or rice, that's good. They, they make it good, you like it. If you like good and bad, whatever it is. So the word of God is something that will always be good. And it will always give us something that we can look at forward to and strive to obey. Because the scripture says that obedience is better than the sacrifice. So it's best to be obedient to the word of the Lord. Is that right? We thank God for Jesus Christ, Son of God, coming into our lives, His Spirit giving us a mind to want to do that which is right, which is pleasing in the sight of the Lord. We thank God that He sent His Son. His Son gave His life so that we may have a chance to be able to live again through the obedience of Christ Jesus. Amen. So we thank God for that. Pray that God will ever bless us all and keep us with the mind. Thank God for his spirit. Thank that he gives us so that we would know how to live like he says and have the power over uh, the demonic things and the wicked things of this world. There's a lot of that, isn't it? Amen. It's a lot of it. So we thank God for all things. All right, Dave. First Corinthians 15, chapter verse 35. Let's see what it says. Well, some men will say. Some men will say what? How is the dead risen? Some people wonder how is the dead risen? How is the dead risen? They were wondering. He was a high guy. Let me tell you something. With God, all things are possible. Yeah. It, it's like there's nothing too hard. Sometimes people say, see, we look at things in a sense like, how can that be? With God, there's nothing impossible. All things are possible with the Lord. Is that right? He can do things that make us wonder. See, because there are things that he, he does and a lot of things that we can't even do. What he says? Well, some man will say. Some man will say what? How are the dead raised? How are the dead raised? And with what body do they come? And what body do they come? Hey, that's something. How is the dead raised? You got to understand something. The things that you do in your body will determine where you spend eternity. Because you're going to be judged out of those things that you do in your body. Sometimes men want to know, what body are coming in? Don't you know God will put you back together? That's right. Yeah. God will put you back together again. You know, though a man may be cremated, a man may be buried, or they, a body go back, remember, it go back to the dust. The spirit soul go back to God. That's right, is that right? But when God call you back, is that right? You 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 you'll come back oh, yes, according to His will and the way He wants you to come back. You'll come back. 
So you go, how, how am I going to come back? You're going to come back and you're going to remember the things. You're going to be aware of everything. It's not that you're going, you're going to not remember, but you will remember everything. And that's why we have to be careful in the things we say do. Is that right? Because we will be judged out of the things that we do in our body. Read the book. Thou fool. He said he called the fool. Thou fool. Thou fool. That which thou sowest is not quickened except it dies. Amen. That which sowest is not quickened except it dies. Uh huh. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not that body that shall be. The, the body that shall be. But what? Bear grain. But bear grain. It may change to wheat. May change to wheat. Or of some other grain. Or some other grain. But God gives it a body. <laughs> God gives it a body that do what? As it have to please, please him. him. Uh huh. And to every seed his own body. And to every seed his own body. Is that right? Amen. You got your own body. I got mine. Amen. The things you do is not going to affect me. Now let's not do what you do. And now this is contrary to the will of God. Is that right? Amen. But everybody will be judged. You got your body, I got mine. Amen. Read the book. All flesh is not the same. All flesh ain't the same. But there is one kind of flesh. Mm -hmm. of well, there's all flesh is not the same, but then there's one kind of flesh of men. Yeah. Another, another flesh uh, See, we men, we're all flesh. You know, that includes women, everybody. We, we are flesh. We, we are a flesh and body. Amen. Is that right? We are flesh, aren't we? Amen. 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 So we, we, we live in the flesh, but we got a spirit and a soul. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Amen. But what you do in your body determines what happens with your soul. Amen. Read the book. Another flesh of beasts. Well, there's another flesh of beasts. Another fish. Well, there's another fish. Another bird. Yes. There are also celestial bodies. Uh huh. And body terrestrial. Terrestrial, yes, sir. But the glory of the terrestrial. There are different kinds, but the glory of the celestial is what? Is one glory. One and is the glory of the terrestrial. Amen. There are different, different glory, different bodies, different. Function different ways. We all not. You, there's different flesh because you got the flesh of the birds, the bees. I mean, the, the animals and all, right? But we are we are not like them. We are different. We are different. Is that right? Is every seed his own body? Exactly. All right. There is one glory of the sun. There's a glory of the sun. And another glory of the moon. Yes. And another glory of the stars. Uh huh. But one star different from another. That's true. In his glory. In his glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. So is so also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. In, in corruption. Read. It is sown in dishonor. Sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. Raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. So only we it is raised in power. You think about the Lord Jesus, you know. He was here. So only natural body, raised in spiritual body. So only in weakness, but raised in power. Amen. Is that right? Amen. So when the Lord bring the people that have deceased and gone to sleep, or everybody, as a matter of fact, back, they're gonna have they're gonna they, it's gonna be a body, but it's gonna be a body. Incorruptible. It's going to be a body that will be able and will continue to live throughout eternity. Someplace. Someplace. Is that right? Amen. But it's going to be a body that won't be destroyed. Read the book. It is sown a natural body. It is sown a natural body. Praise the spiritual body. Uh huh. There is a body. Yes. And some, and so it is written. The first man Adam was made a living soul. Yes. The last Adam was made a quickened spirit. Thank God for Jesus. I believe that was not first 
Which is spiritual. Oh, you wouldn't have, why, why is that wouldn't, that what is not, it was, why wasn't it spiritual first? But what'd he say? I feel that that was not first, which was spiritual, but that which is natural. Uh huh. And afterward, that which was spiritual. Read. The first man is of the earth. The first man is of the earth? Earthly. Earthly. The second man is the Lord from heaven. Is the Lord. The second man is who? The Lord from heaven. <laughs> the second man is the Lord from heaven. Is that all right? He letting you know. You know, remember Jesus was talking around with the people talking. He said, I'm not, I'm not from beneath. I'm from above. He told them that, didn't he? Yeah. Is that right? But we let it, the scripture let us know the first man, Adam, is of the earth, earthly. The second man, Adam, is who? And we suppose once you become a born again Christian, a born again, then our life is supposed to change. We don't both to walk the same walk, do the same thing that we once have done. We both be following after the things of Christ. Can't be the same type of person, is that right? Amen. We have to do our lifestyle changes. Everything changes. Amen. Because Christ brought something new. He brought something that we have to live by, which is better than that first man, Adam. See, the second man, Adam, is better than the first. You know, the old man, old woman, you know how he and she was. But the, the second, see, our desire now is to walk after Christ, walk after the things of the Spirit. Do what the Lord say do. By faith. All right? <clears throat> As it as is the earth, such are they also that are earthly. Yes. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. Uh-huh. And as we have bore the image of the as earth. As we have bore the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image, image of what? So we got to be like Christ. Yeah. We got to bear the same image. We got to walk the same walk. We got to strive for the same thing. It's different. That's why the scriptures say a man must be born again. Is that right? You got to be changed. A, a whole different life, different way of living, different way of thinking, different way of doing things. It has to be according to the will of God. And that's how our life has to be. You know, sometimes people sing a song, I'm not the same person. You used to be, we're not supposed to be the same person. We're supposed to be different. In every area of our life, striving to be what the Lord would have us to be. Is that right? Can't do the same old thing we once did done. Once can we say old things are what? Pass away. Behold, all things become new. So we have to strive. Strive to be faithful. Strive to be prayerful. Strive to be all what God would have us to be spiritually minded people. Not get caught up in the carnal things. Because the carnal things is death. Is that right? All right, what he says? Not this I said, brother. What? That flesh and blood. Flesh and blood? Cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Flesh and blood ain't going there. Neither does corruption. Neither does corruption. In, in, inherit in corruption. Uh huh. Behold, I show you a mystery. Let's see what the mystery is. We shall, we shall not all sleep. Well, we ain't going to all. So, you know, the scripture, you know, the scripture do say it's according to the man wants to die. But there's going to be life when the Lord returns. It's going to be the life on the earth. It's going to be somebody going to look up and see it. Now, it may be something. I don't know. Some of you, you done gone, but somebody going to see it when he come back. In his glory. Fourth chapter of First Thessalonians. Let's hear it, Rick. Verse 16. Listen to this. For the Lord himself. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven shall descend from heaven with a shout with a shout with a voice of the archangel read the book and with the trump of God yes and the dead in Christ shall rise first uh-huh then we which are alive we which are alive and remain we, we, alive and remain Amen. alive and remain Amen. those that are alive and remain those that are here you said the dead going to rise first is that right? Amen. But we which are alive and remain 
Shall be caught up. Shall be what? Shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Amen. It's gonna be. It's gonna be people here, and they're gonna be gonna be. It's gonna happen so quickly. Yes. Is that right? That's why we got to walk circumspectly, because it's gonna happen in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. Is that right? It's gonna be faster than you think. Huh? Because the scripture says that uh, light is shining out of the east and goes into the west. So shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Jesus said, Behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me to pay every man. Didn't he say so? According as his work shall be. How are you working? Now, that's the thing. How are you working? All right, Rick, continue. Then we which are alive and remain. We which are alive. And remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. So you see, people are gonna be alive. Jesus. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be people down here, and they're gonna see them. But remember, we remember, we're gonna get caught up. Amen. See, we wanna be we don't we don't be running to the mountains until the mountains fall on us. Amen. See, we're supposed to be glory to God. We're supposed to be glad when the Lord comes. Amen. It's supposed to something be supposed to be so ready. We ready and waiting for that day. When the Lord appear. Is that right? Amen. That's why we can't get caught up in stuff in this world. Amen. Is that right? Because heaven and earth, God said, gonna pass away. Right. Didn't he say we're supposed to be looking, waiting, and watching yeah. for that great appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ? Is that right? Because yeah. it's gonna be a glorious time. It's gonna be a time that nobody ever seen before. But the people of God will be happy, supposed yeah. to be glad. But be ready for that coming. Is that right? That's what we're waiting on. Waiting on the coming of the Lord. That's why we have to go through what we go through. Is that right? Because nothing down here should compare to the glory that shall be revealed. It's a glory that's it's a glory that's gonna be revealed. See, we got to believe in the Lord Jesus. We got to believe in my faith. Is that right? Got to believe in my faith. We don't see him like we see each other. But by faith, we have to believe him. Is that right? Amen. According to the word. What he says. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. And that's all right. That's the, that's the day. That's why we got to walk right, love right, do what's right. You can't be walking. We, 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 everything that, that weight that's on us or whatever weight, get rid of that weight so you can be ready to go back with the Lord. Amen. Chapter 5, verse 9. Let's hear it, Rick. For God hath not appointed us to wrath. He hath not appointed us to wrath. Give him chapter and verse. Uh, first, that's along the fifth chapter, verse 9. Let's hear it. But God have not appointed us to wrath. God have not appointed us to wrath. But to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He have a, he have a, it's not his will that any should perish. He have not appointed us to wrath. But what, Rick? But to obtain But salvation. to obtain. God wants us to be saved. By our Lord he Jesus sent Christ. his son so that we can be saved. Aren't you glad about it? <clears throat> he sent his son so that we can be saved. He ain't appointed us to wrath. Amen. But have appointed us to what? But, but to obtain salvation. Obtain salvation. By our Lord Jesus Christ. By our Lord. That's why we give high recognition to our Lord Jesus Christ. Because it was him through the Father, through the Spirit, while we have, are able to have eternal life. Amen. Who died for us. Who did what? Who died for us. That who, is that all right? Yeah. <laughs> who glory to God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> who died for us. That was that we wake. Lord, listen to this now. He died for us. That whether we are awake or sleep. Or us, whether we are awake. I told you somebody will be here. Somebody will be walking around. Yeah. Yeah. That's how the says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. For the days that were before the flood, they eat and drank and married, given and married until the day that Noah entered the law, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. 
Is that right? People gonna be doing whatever they're doing, whatever they're doing. But see, that's why we gotta keep our mind, our heart, looking for that blessed hope. For what scripture say? Looking for that blessed hope, that glorious appearance. Every day of our life, we should be waiting for that glory. Every day, not just on those Sunday. Is that right? You should look for that glorious appearance. Walking circumspectly, not as a fool, God said, but wise, redeeming the time. Is that right? Because we want to be saved. Is that right? We don't want to be not caught up. We want to be able to be caught up with the Lord in there. Is that right? Because you ain't gonna, whatever you're doing, you're not going to have time to get it straight. Is that right? Whatever you're doing, you're not going to have time to get it straight. You've got to be walking right and doing right every day. What he says, my beloved. But God has not appointed us to wrath. God has not appointed us to wrath. But to obtain salvation. But to obtain, obtain to get salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God for, for Jesus Christ who died for us. That whether we wake or sleep. Whether we awake or asleep. We shall live together with him. Is that all right? See, let me take you something. This thing here go, go way, it go deep. Go all the way down. Our salvation go to the grave. Right. Glory to God. Is that all right? Glory to God. I'm going to Hallelujah to God Almighty. Because even if they're dead, gone to sleep, you understand? Through Jesus Christ, you'll be resurrected again. Is that all right? Sometimes people, once people say, you should not sorrow as some men sorrow. Because those that are gone to sleep, because I hear God say, blessed are the dead that die in the Lord. Didn't you say so? And that should be our whole goal and objective is we want to die in the Lord. Is that right? Want to be ready? Glory to God that whether we're alive or asleep, is that right? We can be resurrected again. Amen. 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 But he saved my beloved. Yeah. Who died for us. Who died for us. That whether we wake or sleep. Whether we awake or sleep. We shall live together with him. Live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves oh, together. Glory to God. What did he say? Wherefore, comfort yourselves together. Amen. Comfort. We're supposed to comfort one another. Encourage one another. Brothers and sisters, keep on pressing. Keep on looking. Keep on praying. Is that right? Keep on fasting. Keep on singing songs. Keep on assembling yourself. Keep on doing the things that comfort and help each other. Is that right? Because I'm telling you something. The world don't love you. You think what you want to feel like you made the world don't love you. Is that right? Amen. The world don't love you. The world, the world like, like you may think so. Yeah, no, they, they don't. When they start coming and talking about Jesus and how he wants us to live and the holy life we're supposed to be living, the world don't like that. But we can thank God that he changed our life. Amen. It's the Lord that changed. One scripture says, Christ that worketh in you. Both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Read the book. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together. And edify one another. Do what? And edify one another. Amen. Let, let, let not talk about one another. Let's edify one another. Right. Every, he ain't just say the preacher now. Edify, edify one another. One another. That way we'll be encouraging one another. Helping one another. That's what God wants us to do. Not get to the point of not even wanting to encourage one another. Is that right? Not get to the point where you don't want to assemble together. It's important. That's why God said what he said. He said, forsake not assemble yourself as, 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 as you see the day approaching. It looks like people want to stay more out of church now. But that ain't nothing to work of the devil. You want to know what it is the work of the devil? I'm here to tell you. That's, that's what he wanted because God said, God said do something, and the devil wants us to do something different. Encourage one another. <laughs> that's what the Lord said, do not. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Amen. Amen. What it says, my beloved. Well, well, comfort yourselves together. Comfort yourself. Comfort yourself together. And edify one another. And edify. I'm listening to uh, the dream that Sister Perry said she had and the fight that was before each one. We all got to fight. We got to fight. There are those that are gone. They don't fought their fight. Is that right? Once they don't finish their course. Is that right? 
They resting now. Hey, y'all see what y'all see? They resting, just resting. Is that right? Because they, they don't went through the battle. Well, are we ready to go through the battle? Are we ready for war? Hey, y'all see? Yes, Lord. The enemy make us war against our own self. Yes. And the war is not among ourselves. Yes. It's out there yes. among them demons and spirits. Yes. Yes. Trying to turn us back. Trying to disencourage us. He's a liar. Satan is a liar. Yes. And he's the father of the liar. Yes. Yes. Don't let him terrify your mind and get in your thoughts. Make you be, be disencouraged or don't want to do it. Paul's our fault. The fight of faith, didn't you say so? Got to lay hold on eternal life. It's a fight for everybody. Ain't nobody ain't got no personal fight. All of us. We got to fight. It's a fight. It's a fight. It's going to be a fight. Is that right? That's what it is. Spiritual warfare. Is that right? It ain't like you see nobody, but sometimes the war be in your mind, don't it? Be in your thoughts. The enemy be talking to you. He's trying to get you to, he's a liar. Call him a liar. Make him a liar. So all he want to do is stop us. You know what I'm all he want to do is not be faithful in God. That's all he wants. And if he can stop you, he will stop you. Don't think he ain't. He ain't gonna fight. He gonna fight. Jesus. Is that right? But I see another law in my memory. What is it doing? Warning is the law in my mind. I see another law in my members, and it's doing something. Yes. It's warring. It you gotta fight in your mind. Yes. Everybody in here do. Yes. I say everybody in here gotta fight yes. in your mind. Yes. You may not want to accept it. May not want to realize it, but you gotta fight in your mind right now. And all he's trying to do is bring you back into captivity. What you mean? He's trying to capture you so that he can have a rule over you. So, see, when you're in captivity, you can't do like you want to do. Can you? No, when you're in captivity, you got to do what they say do. Yeah, you're controlled by someone else. We want to be controlled by the Spirit of God. Striving to fight and do what God say do. Is that right? Even when you don't want to feel like praying, pray in it. When you don't feel like coming to church, press your way anyway. See, you know, I hear the scripture say, the gospel was preached. Didn't you say so? Until John and God say, men did what? Press their way. Huh? It's a press, you all. Don't think you don't want to got a press. Somebody think, oh, I got all press. No, you don't. You ain't the only one got no press. Everybody that want to live God. In the scripture, everybody that live God will suffer persecution, different things. Everybody got a press. In some kind of way, some manner, it's something that's trying to stop every one of us. Spirits of the devil, the demons, and all kinds of stuff. Trying to make all kinds, just get you all confused. Make you like, be like scrambled eggs. He's a liar. That's why God said, men are all the way. To pray, didn't you say so? Thank you, Lord. And don't you faint? Mm. Don't you faint? Mm. Huh? Don't you faint? Mm. Nah, don't give up. Don't give up. You got to press on. Is that right? That's why God say, sing it and make your melody in your heart. You got to sing a song. I can make it. Take me through, Lord Jesus. Is that right? You got to, you got to encourage yourself. That's what David did. The scripture said David encouraged himself in the Lord. Sometimes you got ain't nobody, ain't nobody that'll say nothing to you, David. You gotta look to the Lord. All right, Rick, what he said? Ephesians 6 and verse 10. Yes, sir. Finally, my brother. Oh, he said, finally, my brother. Be strong in the Lord. Be what in the Lord? Be strong in the Lord. Be what in the Lord? Be strong in the Lord. What did he say, do? Be strong in the Lord. Let us all say it together. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. That's where you be strong in. Amen. You can't put no confidence in yourself, but ain't nothing to none of us. Lord, help us all, Jesus, here and everywhere. Because the enemy's fighting. Brothers and sisters, the enemy's fighting. 
And he's fighting even among and people that round in the church. That's Lord. He getting people with certain kind of different kind of mind, yeah. different mindsets, different thoughts about things. Yeah. People get their own little revelation about stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You don't see people had it, it trying to encourage one another for day to press on. Yeah. And don't think, let me tell you something. Don't you think it's just the preacher's job, you yeah? know? Yeah. It's your job too. Yeah. You gotta encourage one another. Huh? Amen. I had David said, and you know, I can understand. David said, I had fainted. I had fainted. Yes. Sometimes you get so depressed and you get so pressured. Amen. Is that right? Because of what you see. What God allowed you to see is more. You see, that what God said, you know, he that increased knowledge, increased sorrow. It's certain things you see. That's right. It'd be sorrowful. That's right. It's sorrowful when you see people that say they got the Holy Ghost and the professing the Holy Ghost and acting and doing a certain kind of way. It's sorrowful. Because you know the Spirit of God don't work like that. Sometimes we think the Spirit of God will be working and it don't be the Spirit of God. It be yourself. And if any man come out to me, he said, let him deny himself. So we'd be more, we'd be more in the self than we'd be in the Spirit. That's right. <laughs> what he said? Hold on, follow my brother. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. And in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God. Put on the whole arm of God. That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Hear what he said, brothers and sisters? Amen. You got to put it on. Lord, help us. Whole help. arm. Put on the whole arm of God. You know, I used to play football. You know, you had helmet, had shoulder pads, had knee pads, had arm pads. And, and had hip pad. I didn't like the word hip pad. Because I wanted to be, I want my, I want, you know, I was kind of built up and I wanted my that physique to show. I wanted to be looking neat out there, man. I want that, I was playing running back and linebacker. I want to look good there. Eh? Only thing I want was me a neck collar. I want to be sporty on the field. But I could have got hurt. I could have got a, what they call a hip pointer. You get hit in the hip, you get hit in the hip if you want to, if you ain't got on no pads. It's it, it gonna be some damage. Amen. Amen. So we gotta put on the whole arm of God. Put on the whole arm of God. We gotta put the hel the, the helmet, the breastplate, the rifle, all that stuff. Because listen, brothers and sisters, we all the people of God that want to be saved and strive to do what God say, you are in a fight. Amen. I don't care if it's in Tallahassee, it could be in north, the south, east, and the west. That's why we as the people of God, we can't be against one. We got to try to pray for one another and try to understand one another and try to understand certain things. Because if not, the enemy is going to keep people just shh, shh. Divided. divided. That's his job. That's what he want to do. Where there is unity, there is what? Yeah. A house divided against itself cannot stand. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Amen. What he says. Put on the whole arm of God. Yes. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yes. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. What we wrestle against? But against principalities. We listen what we wrestle against. Against principalities. See, you wrestle against things that you don't even see. That's why he says a war going on in your mind. Don't you know the devil, the devil will talk to you in your mind? Yeah. Don't you think he won't? He will talk to you in your mind. Because yeah. he deals with our flesh. Yeah. Read the book. For we rise not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Principalities. Against power. Against, against principalities. Against powers. Against the rules of the darkness of this world. Against, you see all these things? You see all these things that we're wrestling against? Darkness. We're wrestling against darkness, principalities, power. powers, rulers, demons. Amen, sir. Amen. 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 Demon be all around. Is that right? Yes. Amen. I was singing this morning out of scripture said out of prayer. I say, Lord help, because all kind of thoughts can come to your mind. I say, you know, Satan, scripture say when the people, when the mm -hmm. children, men of God presented themselves, Satan did what? Presented himself also. I'm gonna show up too. I'm coming. That's right. But see, we get the we get the victory through praise. 
We get the victory through prayer. Huh? Sometimes it seems as though we don't want to pray, but you get your victory through praise. Is that right? It makes a difference. Huh? Thank God for Brother David being able to hear from his granddaughter. Ain't that all right? When God was so free, you praise him. Back, back down, praise him. How the devil wants you to do? They don't want us to sit quiet and don't say nothing. God give you the victory. Tell it. Show it. Thank you. Huh? But yeah, he don't definitely don't, he don't want to give no God no praise. What's because that song that said, Praise is common for the saints. It shouldn't be nothing for us to give God praise, but we live by faith. We should be able to give God praise because He do so much, so many good things for us, don't He? Yeah. Yeah. Do so many good things for us. Sometimes we don't, we don't give. Sometimes we, you know what? It's amazing. We want God. We look for God to bless us and do for us. But what are we gonna do for Him? He said, "Present your body as a living sacrifice." <laughs> Didn't he say so? Yes. So we have to give him praise. Thank him. Yes. Thank him. Jesus. Thank him. Thank him. Praise Jesus. Him. Jesus. All right, what he said, Rick. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. High places. Well, Lord, take unto you the whole arm of God. Listen to what he said. Jesus. Take unto you the whole arm of God. Why? That he may be able to withstand in the evil day. And then what else? And having done all, will you listen? Stand? When you done did everything you know, stand. Now that let you know the devil trying to bring us down. He trying to, he trying to bring. I don't care what it is, young people, old people, don't matter who it is. The devil trying to invest to bring us down. We got, we on victory side now. Right. But don't you think the devil ain't gonna try to fight? Is that right? What he said? Stand there, Lord. You stand there, for Having your loins girded about with truth. Having your loins girded about with truth. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yes. Above all. What? Taking the, the shield of faith. Uh-huh. Wherefore, you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wind. The shield of faith. You know, you know we're in a fight. The shield of faith. You got to have faith in God. The shield of faith. When you fight, you, you throw up the shield. You have on the shield. You know, so things will, won't just penetrate you. Amen. Have on your helmet. But things will just penetrate your mind. Because it'd be all kind of stuff in our mind. Don't it? Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah, dude, yeah, dude. You all kind of stuff in your mind. Yeah. That's why sometimes you, you know, you got to be careful when you say, the Lord told me. Amen. <laughs> you got to be careful with that. Yeah. What I tell you. The Lord told me. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, know, you got to be careful with it. Because yeah. you got to understand, the scripture says this. That Satan also has transformed. Right. Didn't he say so? Yeah. Don't you think the Satan will talk to you? Yeah. And make you make you feel as though you were so right and you be so wrong? Because yeah. it's something in your flesh you want to do. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So be that's why I pray, pray. Is that right? Pray. I love the daily testimony. He say, you know, he didn't want to see it. He done something. Yes, he did, sir. He prayed. Yes, thank you, Lord. He prayed. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, it don't take God no long time to listen. See, it don't take God no long time to do nothing. Right. Got something, came through it, he didn't even realize who it was. Right. Right. See, you pray, you pray, you pray. Yes, thank you. You pray, pray, pray. Yes, you can't pray enough. I don't care who you are. Because prayer is the thing that gives you uh, communication with the Lord and gives you encouragement and encourages your heart Amen. and gives you that mind to want to go on in the Lord. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Show you yourself. Show you you. Yes. 
Is that right? Because when I when I was praying, I don't want to see, I don't want to, I don't want to see nobody else but myself. And if there's anybody else for the Lord for me to see, God will show them to me. Anything, you know, don't you know that? Don't you know God can show you? <laughs> he can show me all y'all. Yeah, he can do that. Yeah, he can do that. He can do that. But be like, oh. <laughs> how, you, how would he do it? Through a dream? Through an open vision? That's right. He can, he can, <laughs> he can do that. Is that right? That's why I got to keep praying. Lord help me, Lord help me, help me, Lord help me. <laughs> if I don't get down there and say, Lord help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. I got to pray. Is that right? Because there's something coming. I want to be able to stand, don't you? Yes. I want to be able to stand. Yes. Don't you say, we done done all the stand. Stand there for so come because we, things coming up against the earth. It's all kind of stuff going on in the news. All kind of you hear about Ukraine. You hear about the, the scriptures are saying the twenty fourth chapter Matthew. There should be wars, rumors of war. He said, "See that you be not told that all these things must come to pass." He said, "But the end is not yet." Huh? So this thing, we got to be praying and be ready because we don't know what may come about. We don't know what may happen. Is that right? Well, just be proud and say, pray. Seek the Lord, call on him. All right. A few more, Rick, and then we'll get back over to Dave. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith we shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Yes. Praying always. Doing what? Praying always. Doing what? Praying always. Always. Let's say it together. Praying always. One more time. Praying always. Always, he said. Tell your prayers and sit you down. It's kind of like the enemy try to he try to empty us, you know, try to when you got you full of prayer, you can go through, but he wants to get empty, you know. We don't want to pray, don't want to get Nigga, he, he, you know, y'all know how the enemy work. Y'all know how he, he, he be operating. <laughs> My daughter called me yesterday. Dad, you know what I'm doing? I had a phone. I didn't have a Bible. He said, you supposed to have to cut your phone off. I said, yeah, but I just had it on. Is that right? Well, you know, I'm in prayer. I'm in prayer. Huh? Amen. Tell your brothers and sisters, prayer is the key. Faith unlocks the door. Don't stop praying. Always take time to pray. Take take time to pray. Seek the Lord. Because he said, make make your request for Tell the Lord what you want. Talk to him about it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you. Then you say you start praying about your your red Amen. You ask the Lord if you want to see him. Tell him to talk to me. Thank you, Lord. Nearly about 20 years, now he, boom, now, now he got a relationship. Amen. Is that all right? Yeah. <laughs> Do it right. So that people think, so that people think it's hard to receive the Holy Ghost. It ain't hard. We just want you to just pray and keep praying because the Lord, Lord can feel you at the house, but it's going it to be met. Wherever the Lord feels you at, it's going to be manifested. It's going to be manifested. It's going to be manifested. This is a Jewel testimony. And that's how the enemy works. It was funny because they said, you know what I'm saying? When you're trying to go get saved, you're going to kill your children and you too. See how the enemy talk? Trying to make you get discouraged. I better go back home. I ain't got no break for it. I better go home, turn around, and go back to the house. Huh? You throw all kinds of stuff, and how are we going? Yes, but see, she said something very important too. She, she had that mind. She had, I've been calling on Jesus, but this time, I meant it. You know, and sometimes, see, this, listen, brother, sister. When you mean it, God know you mean it. He already know it. See, we be saying, 
and you, you know, but he know when you truly mean it from your heart. Oh Lord, thou hast searched me and know me. God know when you really, God know when you really mean it. He you. That's why he said a broken and a contrite spirit. God will despise. He know when you really mean it. And when you come to me, you know what he gonna do? He gonna prove to you that I'm a faithful God. Yes, Lord. Because he's faithful. Yes, he is, sir. Glory to God. Jesus. Ain't that something? So let's be real in God. Let's be real with him. He know when you mean what you mean. Jesus. Why are you trying to fool him? You can fool me all day long. Jesus. You can fool me all day, all night, next year, whole year, two or three years. But you can't fool God one second. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Cry out to him. Jesus. How bad you want Because he's the God of his word. Now I'm telling you. Jesus. You got to get real with him. Yeah. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's knowing you for real. He knowing you for real, for real. Somebody said, well, somebody said, well, I've I been for real. Yeah, I know you've been for real, but I'm talking about that for real, for real. Yes. It, it's a different kind of, yes. <laughs> it's that soul real. <laughs> That's very really good. A soul real when you say, oh, Lord, when you say, I'm going to call you and I'm going to kill. I'm going to call you if you, I won't blow the kill. Yes. 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 It makes a difference, though. Yes. It makes a difference. It really does. Amen. Continue, those of you that are seeking the Lord. Don't be discouraged. Continue. Oh, Jesus. Continue. But I just wanted to say something about those testimonies because they were very inspirational. Yes, That's why testimonies are inspirational. Yes. That's why it's good for us to assemble to hear things like that. But sometimes you don't know how you can encourage others. Amen. Is that right? Amen. How you can give somebody an encouragement to want to yes. continue to seek the Lord. Say, Lord, just get me where I need to be. All right. Praying always with all prayer and supplication. Praying all. Praying. Oh, this is what he's saying. Praying always with supplication. With all prayer. All prayer. And supplication. And supplication is you're groaning. You, you're groaning. You're begging the Lord. Jesus. Supplication. Hallelujah. Is that right? Amen. Glory to God. In, Look, the in the spirit. That's the beautiful thing. When you can get down to Want to cry out to the Lord. I mean, really cry out. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. It's something, brother. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Yeah. Yes, glory. Yes, yes. Um, in the spirit. Yes. Let the spirit have his way. Is that right? Yeah. You let the spirit, don't you know the spirit can control you? Spirit is going to happen. Oh, yes, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. All right. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Yes. And watching there unto. And then watching there unto. With all perseverance. With all perseverance. Keep pressing. Keep pressing. Keep going. And what else? And supplications for all saints. Supplications for what? For all saints. Ain't that something? We're supposed to pray for all saints. I go in present time and say, Lord, look over the saints throughout the world. And I don't know the name. But I say in the north, the south, the east, and the west. Amen, sir. All the saints. Is that right? Amen. You got to pray for one another. Because there's somebody that needs comfort. Yes. Somebody that needs healing. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Somebody that needs financial help. Amen. Somebody that needs spiritual help. We all, we all fall into some kind of category. Is that right? We may not verbally say it. Is that right? Yeah, I remember saying, I'm saying I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. I ain't got no food. I need something to eat. I believe I can get me something to eat. We say, is that right? We pray for I mean, When a saint get them to say, y'all pray for me, you know what you better do? I never forget my dad he used to always he used to be he said I'm gonna start praying right now. Because you, you be on the left hand forgot about it. You be on the left hand going somewhere else and forgot about it. Amen. You 
you start praying right then. Somebody said, pray. When you know them, them, them testimonies and them, 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 them strong, hard testimonies, they need help. Yeah. Yeah. Pray one for another. Yeah. That's what God wants us to do. Pray for another. For yeah. another. Don't have nothing in your heart where you can't pray for me. Yeah. Or you can't pray. Even if you if it's something, you know, I was reading something, I read something every morning. In my Bible, it's a, it's a devotion that I read every day. I read it every day. And I try to make it my business to read it. But he said, Lord, help me to love the unlovable. Even pray for the unlovable. Even those that glory to God. Even those that you know that just, 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 just don't get along. Pray for them. Because you know what? We still haven't done what Jesus did. When we were yet sinners, Christ did something. When we were yet sinners, he ain't done my prayer. He did something even more excruciating than that. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't he do so? Yes. 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 When we were yet sinners, yes. you mean to tell me I can't pray for nobody that's talking about me? No. Why can't I? God can help them better than me because yes. I want the love of God in me. That surpass everything. I want the same kind of love Jesus got. Yes, yes. Don't you? I do. Yes. I don't care if somebody in the church talking about me. And I know I'm going to pray for that. That's God. God can handle you better than I can. I'm going to talk to him in prayer. Talk to him in prayer and then let it see him manifest himself. Lord, if it's something I've done, let them come to me. Whatever it is, and God will have to walk right up to you. Yes. You got to learn to pray one for another. Amen. You know how something come to your mind and you don't want to pray for them? Amen. It'll happen. You try to, try to erase them. They come to your mind and you try to erase them. Why should I pray for them? Yeah, go on. Because that's what God say do. Amen. Is that right? Yes, Lord. God is good, isn't he? Yes, yeah. All right, Dave. Thank you, Rick. What was chat was that taking you to get? Earlier? Okay, all right, good. All right, read a few more, Dave. Question right here. 51. 51 says, Behold, I show you a mystery. Uh huh. Who said that all this? Yes. But we shall be changed. But we shall be changed. In a moment. In a moment. In the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump. At the last trump. Yes. Yes. The trump shall sound. Yes. And the dead shall be risen. Uh huh. In corruption. Uh huh. And we shall be changed. And we shall be changed. For this corruption must put on incorruption. Yes. And this mortal must put on immortality. Yes, sir. So when this corruption shall have put on incorruption. Yes. And this mortal shall have put on immortality. What's going to happen? Then shall, then shall be brought to pass the same that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. Yes, death is our last enemy. Read. Oh, death. Oh, death. Where is that stand? Where is your stand? Oh, you know, you know, so you want to know, why death is the enemy? Because see, the scripture says death come upon who? Oh, oh man. Is that right? Amen. But see, through Jesus Christ, death has been conquered. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, death has been conquered. Amen. One scripture says, appointed unto man wants to die, and after that, the judgment, but through Jesus Christ, death has been conquered. Through his death and resurrection, that giving us hope. Yeah, the same thing can happen. Yes, That's why he did it. Jesus. So that we would have a better resurrection. Mm -hmm. yeah. Read the book. Oh, death, where is that stain? Death, where is that stain? Oh, where is, where is that victory? Where is your victory? The stain of death is sin. The sting of death is sin. And the strength of sin is the law. Yes. But thank be to God, which Jesus. gives us the victory. Through who? Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. Yeah. We get the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Read the book. Therefore, my dear love, brother. Uh huh. Be ye steadfast. Be ye steadfast. Unmovable. Always abounding in the work. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. 
of the Lord. Bless, 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 bless much. You know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Continue in the Lord. You know, whatever you do, do it in the Lord. We get victory. We, we, we get all these things. Our work is not in vain. For as much as you know your labor is not in vain. Why? In the Lord. That's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Yeah. So let's incur, be encouraged in the Lord. All right. Ninth chapter of Ecclesiastes. Let's hear it. For all this I consider in my heart. All this I consider in my heart. Even to declare all even this. Even to declare all this. That the righteous and the wise and their works are in the hand of God. The righteous, the wise, and their works are where? In the hand of God. Yes. No man knoweth either love or hatred. Uh huh. By all that is before them. Uh huh. All things come alike to all. All things come alike unto all. There is one event to the righteous. There is one event to the righteous. And to the wicked. And to the wicked. To the good. To the good. And to the clean. Amen. One event. Read. And to the unclean. Yes. To him that sacrifices. Uh huh. And to him that sacrifices not. Let's hear it. As is the good, so is the sin. Mm hmm. And he that swear, as he that feareth and oath. Mm -hmm. This is an evil among all things that are done under the sun. Uh huh. There is that there is one event unto all. There is one event. There is one event unto all. Yea, also the hearts of the sons of men is full of evil. Ain't that something? Can't we see it? Yes, sir. The hearts of the sons of men are full of evil. Full of evil. We living in an evil time. Where people are killing, policemen killing, people killing each other. Lord help us. Lord has the present lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. It's all around us. Is that right? Even the people that say they 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 hold up the law, they shouldn't be killing people for that. We live in this dangerous time, brother. We need to pray. Lord help us. I want to be protected. I want your children, my children, all. Protect. We need protection now. Yeah. Read the book. Also, the heart of the sons of men is full of evil. Uh huh. And madness is in their heart while they live. Madness in their heart while they live. And after that, they go to the dead. Out of all that, all that, see, don't matter. People be mad, angry, killing each other. You still go. You still got to die. You still going to the dead. Read the book. For to him that is joined to all the living. There is hope. We got hope today, y'all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Aren't you glad? Yes, sir. Because once we leave here, all hope is gone. You can't tell me you're sorry. You can't tell that person you're sorry. You, when you leave him, all hope is gone. When you leave, we are gone now, headed for eternity. Remember, we, while we're here, we're in time. When we leave here, we go into eternity. Eternity is the next spot. For everybody that leaves here. Hallelujah. Read the book. For to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. Is that the truth? Yes, sir. Yes, it is. A living dog. Is better. I don't care how ferocious the lion is. Better. The dog is better. Why? Because he's living. We got a chance while we're living, brothers and sisters. We can correct, we can rectify, we can straighten, we can pray. Lord, help me, help us while we're living. Amen. Read. For the living know that they shall die. The living know what? That they shall die. The living, and, and sometimes we don't like to think about it. But you know it's the truth. They know. The, the living know, they know. Don't shall that they die. shall. He said they might. That they shall die. The living know that. But it's kind of like what you're doing while you're living. What are you, how are you preparing yourself to leave? Because you know we're leaving him. Yes. What are you doing to prepare yourself to leave him? Yes, oh, I got time. Who said you got time? That's what you say. Your time is not in your hand. Your time is in the hand of the Lord. Is it? Yes, it is, sir. And Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes says, 
See, everything is a time and a season. Didn't you say so? <laughs> yeah, everything is a time and a season. And into everything there is a season. A season. And a time. And a time for every purpose, for every purpose of under the heaven. Under the heaven. Ain't that all right? We're going to continue back with word. That's beautiful, baby. Yes, sir. Let's continue. Well, to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. Yes. A living dog is better than a dead lion. Yes, it is. For the living know that they shall die. Yes, we do. But the dead know not any. No, they don't. Neither have, neither have they any more a reward, for the, for the memory of them is forgotten. Also their love. Love. And their hatred. Hatred. And, and their envy. And their envy. Is now perished. See, see, when we go, it's 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 nothing else. Perish. It's perish. You can't remember nothing. You can't hate. You can't love. You can't say I'm sorry. It's nothing. Perish. Lost. Perish is gone. Read. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. Read. Go thy way. Eat thy bread with joy. And drink thy wine with a merry heart. Uh huh. For God now accepts thy works. God accept what? Thy works. How are you working? What you doing? God help us. Read. Let thy garments be always white. Let your garments be all. You don't want nothing to stain your garments. You want to be. You want to stay right with God. Yes, Lord. Let your garments be white. Let your garments be always. Always white. And let thy head like no ointment. Don't let your head like no ointment. Read. Live joyfully with the with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of thy life. You got a wife, live joyful with her. Live joyful with her all the days of your life. Of, live, vanity. of your vanity, because it's all vanity. Amen. But he said, live joyful. Didn't you say so? Yes, sir. Live joyful. Amen. Learn to appreciate. Learn to love her. Is that right? Amen. You know, the scripture says, well, husband, love your wife, even as Christ. Love the church. Didn't you say so? And gave his wife for it. Life. Didn't you say? Amen. Gave his life for it. Amen. 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 So husband, love your wife. Do them good. Amen. Live joyful. Amen. Live. Be glad. Don't be, don't be regretting nothing. <laughs> be glad. Amen. Maybe some things you don't understand, but still be glad. Amen. She's doing good things for you, ain't she? Cook for you, wash your more dirty clothes, clean that house. Amen. 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 <laughs> so live joyful, be glad. Amen. Read the book. Live joyfully with the wife of whom thou lovest all the days of thy life. Whom you lovest. Of thy vanity. Of your vanity, because you know it's all vanity. Read. Which he hath given thee under the sun. Which he gave you under the sun. All the days of thy vanity. Yes. For that is thy portion in this life. Well, that's thy portion in this life. And in, and in thy labor, which thou takest under the sun. And what you do is that's part of the way God has it set up. That labor. Is that right? Yes. Amen. Read. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no one. Nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave was about goest. What can you do in the grave? What, what can you do in the grave? No work. Ain't no work in the grave. No device. You you ready to stop working? You ready to, you ready to stop dealing with devices and things? No knowledge. Ain't you ready to, to knowledge to cease? No wisdom. You ain't no wisdom or knowledge in anything. In the grave where thou goest. This is how he said. Where you? He's like. Where you going? <laughs> you know, I really solidified. That's where you're going. Yeah. Ain't that something? Lord help us. Yes, Lord. I know it's something that Lord help us. Yes, the Lord. thing is, I just pray, Lord, I want to be ready. Lord help me do everything I need to do. Lord. Father, I like it. I realize and understand. See, this one thing I understand. Is that right? Yeah. Man, you got to be ready. You got to be right. Ain't no knowledge. I can't tell when I'm sorry. I can't tell I love her. I can't tell my children I love them. I can't do anything in the grave. What you gonna do in the grave? You know. You know one scripture said, Isaiah said, the grave can't praise you. The grave can't celebrate you. You can't even praise the Lord in the grave. Amen. 
If you went by a graveyard, you saw the people praise the Lord, you you probably get scared when we make that way. You got the, the living, the scripture says the living, the living, they shall praise thee. You got to praise them while you, while you got a chance. Is that right? Read the book. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not given to the swift. Oh, really? The race is not given to the swift? Nor the battle to the strong. Nor the battle to the strong. Neither yet bread to the wise. Neither yet bread to the wise. Nor yet riches to men of understanding. Yes. Nor yet favor to men of skill. Uh-huh. But time and chance happen it to them all. Time and chance. Just give things a time, give chance. It happened to us all. As long as we're in time. Is that right? Things can happen. Good things can happen. Amen. We know there's terrible things that will happen, but God bless. Time and change. Chance. Chance happened to us all. To them all. Read. For man also knoweth not his time. Well, man don't know his time. As the fish that are, that are taken in an evil net, and as the bird that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared, so are, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it fell suddenly upon them. We don't know, do we? All the suddenly upon them. Well, be ye also ready. You don't know the day nor the hour. Is that right? You don't, we, don't, we don't know. Is that right? But we want to be ready. We want to prepare ourselves spiritually, mentally. To be ready. But we don't know. We just don't know. Read the book. This wisdom have I seen under the sun. And it seemed great unto me. Yes, sir. There was a there was a little city and few men within it. Dealing with wisdom and foolishness. Read. And there came a great king against it. A great king came against it. And besieged it. And besieged it. And built great bulwarks against it. Uh huh. Now there was there was found in it a poor wise man. A poor, a poor wise man. And he by his wisdom delivered the city. Hey, is that all right? He wasn't the king. Yes, sir. Let me just take just take wisdom. Just take wisdom. And, and, and good wisdom is always good. Always something that we can all be able to receive. Because it'll help us. Yes, sir. All right. Amen. Now there was found in, in a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom just delivered the city. Yet no man was, remembered that same poor man. And that's something that because he's poor, and he but, he but he delivered the city. Man, his wisdom. See through his wisdom. Yeah. Sometimes people look at people on high pedestals. They like, he got it. No, sometimes it just be you no know, people that you don't even pay that much attention to. Yeah, sir. Amen. Huh? <laughs> this is just Jackson testimony. He said, a man standing there, it seems like nothing, but yeah. he told me, turn around and go back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Sometimes the people that look so little and so useless and yeah. not nothing to us in our eyes can display or give us good wisdom. Yeah. All right, read. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised. Well, and the what? And his words are not heard. Poor, why? A poor man. Sometimes people look at people because of, you know, we as people, we as the scripture teaches, how do we look at man on the outward appearance? Yes. They don't know nothing. They, sometimes you see people, you think they don't know nothing? Don't, don't look at man because he got on dirty clothes, he don't know nothing. And the man that got on the suit that he knows that he ain't got no nothing. Yeah. See, but you know, that's how we are, right? Yeah. And we look at things from the outward appearance, like God said. Yeah. But God look at the heart. But what did he say, Rick? Now there were, and then, this, then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. The words of a wise man, the words of wise men are heard yeah. in quiet in and, quiet. And quiet. More than a cry of him that ruleth among fools. Ain't that something? Read. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. But one sinner destroyeth much good. Wisdom is better, but a sinner can destroy a lot of things. Yes. 
So let us, as the people of God, strive for wisdom, strive for knowledge, and understanding. Thank you, Rick. And thank you all for being able to hear what the words say. I hope you'll receive something that will encourage your hearts, encourage your mind, and lift you up in the way of righteousness according to the will of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Is there any more? Yes, sir. All right, Dave. Yes, thank you, Lord. First of all, let's thank the praise of God for the word that went out. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Kicked him out. He didn't get to know. Took him to Appalachia. He stayed in the Bible a week. So finally, he went about to the fall and went to pick him up. So I ended up taking him to my place. He didn't have nowhere else to go. So I had taken him over. Thanks, you guys.
for that testimony. So remember him in prayer. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And see what he's dealing with. You know, it's, it's, it's really, I, I can imagine how tough it is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The enemy shall destroy, but God is a deliverer. He's a deliverer. How you know he's a deliverer? Because he delivered me. And I thank God for that. The Lord knows and we just have to pray. Remember him in your prayer. All right? Let us all stand. Righteous Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, again, we're grateful. We're thankful for your loving kindness and your tender mercy. We ask you, Father, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, that you will look down upon Brother David's son. Lord God, you are the healer, you are the deliverer, and Lord, you are able. Rebuke the demonic spirit. Lord, for your blood is against Satan. Lord God, we know according to your will that you are able, Lord God. Lord, give him peace within him. Give Brother David strength that he will look to you, Lord God. We're asking you, Father. We're asking you, Lord God, that you would grant unto him his desire. Knowing that you're able and nothing is too hard for you. Lord God, he's crying out for prayer. And we ask, Lord, that you would look down upon him. Lord God, and touch and heal. And bring peace. Bring peace, Lord. For you are the Prince of Peace. Lord, Lord Jesus. Know that you're able, Lord. And nothing is too hard for you. Cast out the enemy. Lord, for he comes only but to kill, steal, and to destroy. Lord God, and we ask that you would, Lord, by your blood, Lord Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against the Father, Father, we ask that you grant unto him this And Lord God, he will have a testimony. And have a praise to give to him. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We ask these best in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. Present your fathers on the presence of his glory to receive the joy. On the wise God, our Savior, we glorify.